So with different needs, it's important to make sure you connect with the parents. And that can be done um, over the phone before they come. Great way of doing it. You call them up. It's like, hey, you know, you're coming along for a free trial. Um, and they will volunteer information. Oh, you need to be aware of this and this. And then have a chat with them about it so that you're already aware before they arrive. And then if they decide to join, which literally 99.9% .9 of people do if we can get them to that, uh, that trial, it's like communicate after the fact. It could be picking up the phone. Hey, you had a great first class. How'd you find it? Oh, it was amazing. Fantastic. Now, um, the approach with, with Bob. Uh, happy with that? Still good? Yeah, absolutely fine, Mr. H. Not a problem at all. So it's confirming how it is that you move forward with that behavior, building Bob's confidence as well as everybody else's confidence as well. So remember, you can't simply say, oh, we build confidence. No, you don't. How do you build confidence? And if you can't explain it, you don't. You build confidence around one topic, martial arts. You do not build confidence around the rest of their lives. So with that match chat, because they understand they have a voice, they can then go into school and they can go into other areas of their life understanding that they have a voice that's worth listening to. And sometimes the more shy children obviously don't want to talk. And then when they go through our program for a little bit, they start to talk and they start to really um, key into their emotions. And then that confidence goes through the rest of their life. And that's your goal. And the parents see that because they'll report to you. They'll be like, he did this thing at home the other day. It was amazing. I was like, oh, fab, what was it? And we'll have a chat about it. And it's like, great, because the confidence from there is now kicking into there. Perfect. So yeah, confidence, massive thing. Now, let's go back very briefly to the two age groups. So ages uh, three and four and five and six. How to communicate with each. Now, with the three and four-year-olds, you might pull your hair out unless you do this, because I've been there. That's why I'm, I'm receding a little bit, you see. Um, they are not verbal communicators. They will understand approximately 30% of what comes out of your mouth. So ready? This is where we actually have targets on um, trying to do different drills. So drill number one for a white belt who's four years old would be jab cross. 